What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing another Manchester City transfer update. Very interesting. It's getting very interesting out there actually. So if you do want to stay up to date because I'm going to be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates returning from January 1st to keep you guys up to date throughout the winter January transfer window. Do make sure that you have subscribed to my channel. It is free to subscribe. Also don't forget social media links there in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. Also don't forget as well well to leave a thumbs up 200 likes is the aim and do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below so we're going to start off this video by speaking about the latest contract news and we've got the very latest on john stones now steve k over on twitter has said that pep guardiola is a huge admirer of john stones and he wants him to sign a new deal at manchester city city apparently working on a deal for a one-year extension so his current contract expires in 2026 manchester city working on adding an additional year onto his contract to keep him here until 2027 the term long-term contract is being used and that's because we're talking from this point 2023 means his contract would be over three years it means if he signs a new deal his contract would be for the next three and a half years at Manchester City uh, so he did last sign his contract back in 2021 that was a five-year deal to keep him at the club and as part of the agreement back in 2021 talks would take place during the 2023-24 season which now have begun between Manchester City and John Stones and City now working on a new deal and Stones could become one of many players that City have been continuously working on month after month, week after week, day after day when getting some of the very best Manchester City players on to new contracts and speaking of new contracts moves us on to Pep Guardiola and I've heard all the latest rumours about Pep Guardiola and signing his new contract when it comes to official sources out there that's been reported it is pretty quiet on Pep Guardiola it doesn't mean that the rumours that are floating around aren't true they could well be very true to be honest with you uh, however when it comes to reliability being put on to Pep Guardiola I've not heard too much about him signing a new contract and just looking at the past and when Pep has signed his new deals he, he likes to run his contract down uh, to within uh, somewhere between 6 and 12 maybe even 24 months at a stretch and considering he's got a deal until 2026 I can't see Manchester City in, t uh, well, in the turn of this year um, putting Pep onto a new deal might be something that they're working on in 2024 uh, if I'm honest I reckon City might be working on that towards the latter parts of 2024 rather than the earlier parts but it does doesn't mean that things aren't being sorted in the background and Man City will be asking Pep Guardiola all the latest on what's he wanting at the club, what's it going to take to keep him here, etc, etc. So uh, there is things happening in the background when it comes to Pep Guardiola, but in terms of official stories and how long City wants to put onto his deal and when they're expecting him to sign that, etc, etc. I'm afraid I don't have any details on that for you guys. And at the moment, as I said, it is just rumours without reliability being put on the story. Now, we don't have any out transfers to talk about today, so we're just going to dive right on in with a couple of new names in the end. We're going to start off first by speaking about our first new name, Gabriel Maischoy. I hope I've said his name correctly. Now, he plays for Ajax. He's an 18-year-old, uh, under-21 player for Ajax. He's Dutch, an attacking midfielder. And according to AD.NL over in the Netherlands, they're saying that Manchester City are interested in making a move for the young lad, and it would continue the theme of Manchester City looking to target some of the best young players out there around the world to bring them in to get them into the City Football Academy the CFA and get them into the elite development squad the EDS and try and progress their careers uh, that way or through low moves or through profit or actually wanting to get them into the Manchester City first team as well we have sold a lot of high quality young players over the last 24 months and because of that City will have their eyes on some of the other young players around the world from top clubs and top academies to bring them in to develop them so they can be the next crop of players the next big things at Manchester City now it is being reported that in terms of Gabriel Mice Hoyer over at Ajax it could be a deal 
for the CFG, the City Football Group, rather than for Manchester City. His contract currently expires with Ajax in the summer of 2024, so next summer, and it is something that the City Football Group are keeping their eye on and Manchester City themselves as well. Exciting times. Now, moving on to the final transfer, and another new name comes in the form of uh, Ezequiel Palacios over at Bayer Leverkusen. Now, he's a 25-year-old Argentinian defensive midfielder. He's uh, already got, uh, I think, near 20 caps for Argentina. And according to TNT Sports in Argentina, they're saying that Manchester City, Aston Villa and Newcastle are all having a look at the Bayer Leverkusen defensive midfielder in January. And it is being reported that Manchester City are seriously considering making a move for the Argentinian international. Now, Manchester City more than likely are going to allow Calvin Phillips to leave the club. And if Aston Villa and Newcastle are in, a mark, in the market for a defensive holding midfielder, them two clubs could well be a club that chooses to make a, a move for Calvin Phillips. Manchester City believes to be happy to loan with some kind of option to buy. That would suit Aston Villa. That would suit Newcastle. Newcastle, of course, lost Sandro Tonali for the next 10 months. It makes sense. But also then making a move for uh, Ezequiel Palacios also makes sense as well. So... Is that going to happen? That's the question. Manchester City seemingly looking at midfielders once more. I'm expecting through the winter transfer window for Manchester City to potentially tie up Valentin Barco, the young left back over uh, in Argentina. And if City are to make a move, more than likely it would be for a midfielder. And that's only if Calvin Phillips does uh, leave the club. Uh, and looking further beyond past the winter transfer window towards the summer, I've heard Man City being interested in another centre-back. Of course, we love centre-backs but also expecting it to be busy with midfielders as well. And Manchester City could well choose to dip in to the winter transfer market if Kevin De Bruyne's recovery isn't going well. And word that I'm hearing on De Bruyne's recovery is confirmed by Kevin De Bruyne himself. He's, he's progressing nicely, but no time frame has yet been put on him returning back to Manchester City. And City will not want to rush him back. So we await clarification on that in the new year and I imagine a lot of City's activity in the winter transfer window will depend on Kevin De Bruyne and how his recovery is going and what the expected time frame is on that as of right now we don't have that information available all we know is his injury that he picked up normally takes a three to four month recovery period which takes us right into the new year and I've heard rumours on the grapevine that it may not be until we get into the uh, last 16 of the Champions League before we potentially see Kevin De Bruyne returning back for Manchester City so we may be looking potentially at February time before he returns back it may be sooner it may be later we'll have to wait and see as I said a lot of City's transfer activity does depend on that of Kevin De Bruyne so there we go that has been today's transfer update do make sure like always if you are enjoying the content then do subscribe to my channel it is free we're very very close now to 32,000 subscribers hoping to hit that at some point in the next couple of days so any help towards that would be much appreciated also, don't forget as well to uh, go and check out my social media links, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. They're in the description. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 200 likes is the aim. And do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for the next Manchester City video where we'll be previewing this weekend's game in the Premier League as City take on AFC Bournemouth at home. So I'll see you then. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.